So I've stumbled across this little um, wine alcove, for want of a better word. Um, the back of this place called Galleria Salamanca in Tasmania. And uh, the proud over to James <laughs> is uh, not a hack. So you've um, had a restaurant before, haven't you? Yeah. So where was the restaurant? Uh, just over in uh, Sa uh, over Salamanca Wolf area. Uh, it was called the Mill on Morrison. It was an old flour mill. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. So tell me about your love with an old flour mill and food. Because obviously you're a, an artiste in the food scene. Uh, 20 years of hospo. Oh, right. <laughs> From kitchen dishes through to cooking, through to floor, through to uh, floor management, wine and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, just really enjoyed hospitality for a long time. But okay. So, sorry, I've got to intervene. So when people say they enjoy hospitality, what does that mean? Does that mean you enjoy seeing people's faces or you enjoy the well, delivery of the service or what? I don't think, you don't choose to work in hospitality. It sort of chooses you. Right. You either have the personality or you don't. Okay. And uh, it just so happened that it chose me. And right. I got, and I got, I fell in love with it. You got so lured in. Got lured in. Seduced but in. But it's, it's very, it can be very complex. There's always lots of little problems. It's not as simple as uh, a lot of people think. The food uh, aspects, I mean, if you think when you have five people around for dinner mm. and what you go through to cook Oh, the mental them. torment of getting <laughs> food out on time that's yeah. hot. Yeah, I mean, try, try doing it for 300. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would. Actually, my hormone <laughs> breakdown was at 12. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a big complex Commitment. problem that you need to work through. And but like you've that. enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, so it's, it's not boring. Yeah, it's <laughs> So now you've um, downsized to a wine bar. Downsized to a wine bar and focusing heavily on my other passion, uh, yeah. making wine uh, right. uh, and gin. Yes. Uh, I did my degree in Adelaide for viticulture and onology and travel around Viterology, the world. Viticulture, was it? Viticulture and viticulture. onology. I know, if I had another yeah. life, I'd come back and do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's um, the only thing that sort of merges art with science. And, oh. and that's so yeah. okay so, so I, I do agree so can you take me through just a label that you've designed or produced yourself and tell me about the qualities so this was oh. the first uh, wine here which small we're... island Pinot Noir Tasmania so this is your own label that yeah. you've produced yeah sorry is that got a gold it label does. on it it does got a little oh. metal okay uh, and that's the other so side. you're not a hack are you we were lucky. We did well. Yes. Um, this was a crowdfunded project. Yep. We uh, raised fourteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, to produce two and a half tons of wine. Right. Uh, which in is that like two um, Titan trucks? Yeah. <laughs> is that something like that? I know. Is that yeah. a lot of wine? Uh, no, in this, compared to a lot of wineries, it's nothing. Right. At all. But it was quite a lot for me to yeah. start off with. Yeah, so, right. And that's been fortunate enough to pick up gold at the Hobart International. Fantastic. And it's starting to take off. Well, now. Can I buy it or is it sold yep. out? Uh, no, it, we're still selling it here now. So it Good should last it. another few months. I'm whispering, but... I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> later on. 